So local food sourcing, you say, Jake, I get it, I get it, finally, okay. Where do I get the food then? Here you go. We're gonna be talking about food sourcing actually for the next two lessons after this too. So, avoid eating at chain restaurants. They cannot keep a consistent menu if the food is fresh. It has to be frozen, it has to be packaged, they have to be able to ship it to 150 different locations every day and give you a consistent product because that's what you want. You're Americans. You did, you, if you don't get a consistent product, you are never going back. If something tastes a little funny, forget it. That place is terrible. If your beef tastes a little different, never, never again. Ladies and gentlemen, that's nature. If the cow eats a certain type of grass, it's going to taste a little different. Is that okay to you? If there's more rain that year, if the sun shines more, the meat's going to come out a little different. Is that okay to you now? Yeah. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with my food being a little varied because that's nature. So avoid eating at chain restaurants. That's one of the first ways to get fresh food. There are some chain restaurants that are doing a very good job at starting to move in the direction of sourcing their food, food better. Look for businesses that openly communicate their commitment to local ingredients. The reason they're openly doing that is because it costs them more and they're hoping that the people who value that will buy from them because the other people don't care. Do you have coupons for this locally grown watermelon? What's a coupon? No, we don't have the computer system to make coupons. I'm sorry, we, just, we get this from Joe Smith 10 miles down the road. He grows it right there at his farm. We've been there. I don't want it. That, that, I've got a coupon for the one at Walmart. Okay, go get your Walmart watermelon. Do an internet search for organic or local restaurants. Every time my wife and I go on a trip, we do the internet search and we have a wonderful spread of local restaurants that all get their stuff fresh. And it is like an adventure inside a vacation. The beauty of this is, is you've got some of the best chefs in the world at these smaller local restaurants where they're putting their passion into where they're getting their food because they know it affects how it tastes. And you'll find them by searching the internet for organic and local restaurants. Put it right into Google or Bing or Yahoo or whatever search thing you use. Tips on finding whole food grocers and restaurants. There are a lot in this town and there are a lot all over the country and most of you don't even know they're there because they don't have a million bucks to advertise for 15 seconds during the Super Bowl. They're small and you need to go look for them if you want to find them. Most of the larger supermarkets now have small to medium sized areas that focus on health foods. The health markets and things like that that are out there, that's where they put their organic stuff so you know where it is. They separate it from the rest of the store most of the time. And you can do some research on search engines. In this town alone, 20 minutes from right here, we have six small local grocers that you can go get organic and locally raised food, six. And there's more popping up and there's more coming. And there are all kinds of CSAs and there are all kinds of farmers coming here to bring you food. Do you know who they are? Find them. They're coming here every month. You're missing them. Find them. They're bringing you better food. Recommended web sources. These are some of the national websites that will give you information on CSAs, on farmers who are bringing you healthier food on a day-to-day -day basis. This is how to find them wherever you are in the country. Localharvest.org, organichighways.com, eatwellguide.org, and organickitchen.com. And on our website, in the health resources section, 
we have all kinds of companies in different categories and areas that are that we recommend because we've done the research, we know they're supp supplying people with good stuff. So you can go on healthyforlifeuniversity.com in the health resources section, you can find all that stuff. 